Ah, Kimberly Campers, the purveyor of camping trailers that look like they've just teleported from the distant future, or perhaps a sci-fi convention. It's always a bit of a shock to realize that these space-age wonders have been around longer than your favorite pair of hiking boots. Now, they've decided to shrink down their distinctive style into teardrop size with the new Kuba. Despite its name suggesting a geometric anomaly, it's more of a sleek, rectangular creation with all the bells and whistles you'd expect from Kimberly. Picture this, a king-size bed cocooned in a mini greenhouse, offering panoramic views of your camping spot, complete with a full-width console that doubles as a mini bar. because why not feel like you're checking into a luxury hotel while you're roughing it in the wild? But don't let its luxurious interior fool you. The Kuba is built tough enough to tackle the roughest terrain, thanks to its hot-dipped galvanized steel chassis and off-road racing monotube shocks. It's like the James Bond of camping trailers, elegant and refined on the outside, but ready for action when the going gets tough. And let's not forget the piece de resistance the slide-out outdoor kitchen, because what's camping without gourmet meals under the stars? Complete with a dual-burner stove, sink, and storage drawers, it's the perfect setup for whipping up a feast in the wilderness. Of course, no modern camping experience would be complete without a few tech-savvy features thrown in for good measure. The Kuba comes equipped with LED lighting, a lithium battery, and even the option for Starlink satellite internet prep, because even when you're off the grid, you still need to check your emails, right? But here's the kicker. All this luxury and innovation comes with a price tag starting at $44,675 US dollars. Sure, it's a small price to pay for the ultimate camping experience, but it's enough to make you wonder if you'd be better off pitching a tent and calling it a day. As for us Americans, well, we'll just have to wait and see if the Cuba makes its way across the pond.